Hey everybody, Joe Casaboni here for another uh, kind of watch me work, hopefully quick tip video. Uh, I just got an idea to create a Zap in Zapier that when a file is added to a Dropbox folder to update the status in an Airtable uh, database I use to manage my podcast. So I'm going to see if that's possible. Will uh, it, It's going to be tough. Because the file name has to be just right. I'm going to need to do some string matching. But we'll see what happens. So I will search for the app Dropbox here. I'll select that. And then I will select Airtable. So when this happens, new file in folder, do this update record. So let's, uh, let's see if we can do that. We have... The trigger and the action, at least, and that's the first. Usually my, my zaps die at that stage where it's like, oh, I can't actually do that with Airtable. So we'll select my account. The folder, uh, I will want the folder to be, there are no custom choices here. Uh, so let's see. Check a specific folder. I want this, I want it to be the, production folder which is in how I built it so let me double check I will grab the path here so this is in Dropbox how I built it production I'll right click I'll hold down option fun trick if you didn't know this if you hold down option uh, while you or maybe not oh yeah there we are copy production as path name so on a Mac, if you hold down option, you can copy the path name, which I will paste here, but then I need to get rid of most of that, right? So how I built it, production, include file contents. Let's refresh fields. All right, so we'll see if that works. Test the trigger. It should grab uh, something from, from me, from this folder. There's lots of stuff in this folder. All right, and it got something. Perfect. It got some. It got a file that I expected it to find, which is great. So uh, let's actually. I've already updated the field for that particular episode. So let's see. Great. This is good. Maybe there's a different one. I might forget if I updated that one. Uh, we'll we'll do two ten. Continue. That worked shockingly well. All right. Update record. Continue. Choose an account. All right, so the base is going to be how I built it. The table is going to be episodes. The record. Uh, <laughs> um, this is not very helpful to me. Uh, gosh, this is not helpful at all to me, actually. Well, this might die right here. Custom. Rec. So I guess if I go to Airtable, can I get like a name? Except these are like the, I want to update the record. Maybe I want, maybe I want a different action. Find record. That's frustrating. Yeah, find record. So I'll have to find the record and then update it. How I built it, table, episodes, search by field, episode. So that should be the episode number. Oops. Double check that. Yes. Okay. So search by field, episode, search value. I want, uh, this is going to be hard. Uh, so what I, search formula. Advanced, you can use search formulas based on advanced conditions. I'm going to need another step in here, probably. Uh, format. Text. Choose a value. Uh, extract number. Yes. 
input file name. Test and review. Beautiful. I don't know if this action is available on anything except the plan that I recently upgraded to, but if so, fantastic. Okay, so find find record, set up action, search value. It's going to be text. It's going to be that number that we found. I don't know what this means. No, uh, I guess review. Should this step be considered a uh, success when nothing is found? Great, great, great. Test and review. Yes. And now, Airtable. Update record. Choose an account. That took... Uh, more effort than I expected, but it also didn't require me to jump through any kind of hoops. Um, cause I know like you can use like, I think JavaScript and Python and I wasn't going to be writing code just to do this. This was just kind of a fun whimsical thing. Uh, find record ID. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then change the status to enter text or insert data. Am I really going to be foiled here? Am I going to be foiled here? Out for transcript is the text I want. Oh, and this one's already updated too. So let's, uh, well, we'll just see. Out for Transcript. Gosh, I don't like that part. I don't like that part. All right. Test and review. Out for transcript. No extra records were added. I think that worked. Well, let's, let's do one more test just to see what happens. Right, so why don't we change this to scheduled? That's another status. And then we'll see if it changes. Okay. Wow, is that it? Yes. It worked. I can't believe that worked. I'm sorry I'm yelling. I'm just, as a programmer, I, I'm basically trained to not believe that the first time I try something it will work. So I'm really excited. Yes, we do not need to retest this. Just turn on the zap. I forgot to name it. I always forget to name it. Uh, yeah, so this is just a nameless thing right now. Update record. Update air table when new episode is edited. Oh, I am so pleased. Well, that's it for this video. I created a, you watched me create a zap from scratch. I didn't try it beforehand or anything like that. Uh, if you like videos like this, let me know. Leave a comment below with a zap maybe that you want me to create. Uh, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more great content.